kids love it. Um, as soon as we introduce iPads, the hands shoot up and everybody wants to be a part of it. Eric Sando. I've been at St. Marcus. This is my fifth year, and I teach second grade. For our reading groups, we use four stations. There's seven students in each group. Um, one is reading with me. One is doing uh, technology uh, with our iPads. We've got two, two more that are independent practice. Students work at their desks. This technology um, it hasn't replaced our books. Uh, we use our books, but this is an additional resource that we use um, to capture kids' attention in the classroom and to make uh, learning more interactive um, and enjoyable for them. Most, most of the kids honestly know how to do it themselves because they've grown up at home uh, with parents that have tablets or with uh, cell phones that are interactive. Um, and so they know how to use the iPad before we even introduce it to them at this grade level. And we just found an app that we use, um, and it's, uh, it's a great resource. So I've used SmartBoard. We've had it uh, in the five years that I've been here. I've used it every single year. And I can project. I use it as a projector. I use it as an interactive whiteboard for my kids. Um, and we use it for multimedia, music, uh, video, uh, things like that. So that's an awesome blessing. Uh, in our classroom and it definitely uh, you can tell the difference without it um, with kids attention so smart board makes my life a lot easier <laughs> i love that we can get them uh, and use them and i hope that we can get more in the future because uh, you know the, the kids love to use them and they definitely tell their parents all about it when they get home <laughs>